Hello, hello, friends. So today what we're going to do is we're going to start going over different data structures. And I'm going to make a couple of videos about this. This one itself will probably take three to four different videos. But this will be our intro into uh, kind of more advanced data structure systems. Uh, normally, people who are fairly new to programming, you'll work with just an array. Uh, arrays are good, but sometimes you need a little bit more uh, complicated data structures, or not complicated is not the right word, more versatile data structures to where you can control the flow of input and output in an easier manner. Um, there are different strengths and weaknesses for each data structure, and we'll go through them as we go. Uh, the first one we're going to go over is called a linked list, and uh, if you if you've looked at data structures at all, it's always the first one. The one that we're going to do is a singly linked list. Singly linked list is nothing more than a series of nodes that are pointing to other nodes. It's an unordered uh, data structure, but it's always going to be pointing to the next node. So each each singly linked list has a head and has a tail. Then it has a node, and the node points to the next node, points to the next node, points to the next node, points to the next node until the tail, the tail doesn't have a next node that it points to. So let's go ahead and start building this out and there will be several methods that we build on top of this. So we'll have a push, pop, shift, unshift, get, set, insert, remove, reverse. So basically all the functionality you can do with an array, we're gonna build custom methods to do with with this singly linked list. And it'll be a bunch of fucking fun, so let's just get to it. So, um, the first thing that we need to do is build a class, a node class. And like I said, a node is going to be nothing more than, let's do a constructor. Node is going to be nothing more than a value. In our case, it's going to have a value. So this.value equals value. And it's going to have a, um, a next that it's pointing to. So this.next equals null for right now. So when we initialize, we want it to be null. So let's uh, just make sure that's working. Let node equal new node. And we can pass in a one. So the value should be one. Uh, I didn't console log it. So the value should be one. Value is one and then null is next. Uh, next is null whenever it gets, uh, whenever it uh, gets initialized, right? So that's working fine. So we can make nodes. So let's make a class for our singly linked list. So class, uh, let's just call it singly, singly linked list. Uh, and with this, let's make a constructor. Uh, this will have a, this dot head. Uh, head null when it started and a tail they will both be initialized to null and it will have a length as well and we'll just initialize that to zero so same thing let list equal new singly linked list uh, and let's console log that list just to make sure everything's working uh, deck. There we go. So we created a singly linked list. It has a head, null, tail, null, length, zero. That's what we're looking for. So what we want to do, the first thing that we want to be able to do is to be able to put some of these nodes into this singly linked list. So that would be a push method. So let's build a push method. The push method will take a value. And then let's go new node, let new node equal new node with that value. So we're going to create a node with that value. We'll go if not this dot head. This means basically if it doesn't have a head, which means that there's nothing in there. Uh, if this not this dot head, then we'll go this dot head is going to equal new node. This dot tail equal new node. And this uh, We'll wait to do that. So that's if it doesn't have a head. Else, oops. Else, what we're, so if it does have a head, we're going to just go to the tail. This dot tail dot next is going to equal 
new node. Then this dot then we'll just set this dot tail equal to new node. All right. Then we'll increase the length. And then we'll just return the whole shebang. So let's see if that works. Let's go uh, list.push. And we'll just put in a value of one. And then we'll console log the list and see if it worked. Cool. So we do, now we have a singly linked list and we've pushed into it a node with a value of one that doesn't have a next because right now the head and the tail. Are this are the same? So the head and the tail are both of that value. So now let's pr let's push in another one. List that push two, and let's check that. Okay, cool. So now we have a singly linked list. It has a length of two. The head is this value of one. Now the tail is that value of two, and the head has a node of next. That it its next property is a node and that node has a value of two, and its next is null. So we're getting everything that we want so far. So now we want to be able to take these out. So if we push push them in, we should be able to pop them out. So let's go pop. And uh, we're just gonna pop from the end. So let's go if not this dot head. So if it doesn't have a head, then we'll just return undefined. Okay, so let's figure this out. So what we want to do is we want to get to the end of the node link, but this, since this is unordered, we're going to have to kind of walk through all of the, we're going to have to check to make sure that the node has a next uh, property. If it's, if next is truthy, then it'll keep going. So let's go let current, this will be the current node. Let's set that to this dot head. Then let's let new tail, which is what we're going to be looking for. Let's equal that to this dot, or let's equal that to current, All right? So we'll go while current dot next. So while there is, while current dot next is a truthy value, then we'll go new tail is gonna equal current, and then current is gonna equal current dot next. So we're just moving current to the next spot and we're moving new tail to the spot that we're at. Ooh, I gotta hurry, my battery's gonna die. Okay, so once we get that, we'll have our new tail uh, and we'll have our current. So we'll go this, after we have that, we'll go this dot uh, tail is gonna equal new tail and this dot tail dot next is gonna equal null. So we'll nullify that. Then what we want to do is decrease this dot link. So this dot link minus minus. Then we want to check if so if this dot link is equal to zero. So if we get down to where there's nothing left to be popped out, we can go this dot head equals null and this dot tail is going to equal null. Then we'll return uh, current, which is what we popped off. All right. So this looks pretty good. Let's see if it works. So list dot pop. Let's see what it does. So we push in one, we push in two, and then we pop. So we should have a length of one. Cool, length of one with one node whose next is null that's set at both head and tail. Now let's try to pop again and let's see if this works. The S. Okay, cool. So now when we pop all of them off, the head is null, the tail is null, and the length is zero. It will return undefined right here if that's what's called for. If this, if not, this dot head return undefined. So that's why we check right here as well. If the length is at zero, then we'll return the current, which is what we popped off. But we're not console logging any of this stuff. So really what's being returned, what's being console logged right here is just the list afterwards, right? So that's basically the, the, the first two methods, the pop and the push of this uh, singly linked list. 
we still have to do shift, unshift, get, set, insert, uh, remove, reverse. So there's still several more to do, but this is the first. What we did was we created a node class. We created a singly linked list class, and then we created some methods on that singly linked list class. We push nodes into a linked list using the push method, and we take them out by using the pop method that we built. Uh, if you have any trouble with this, just go through, watch it again, and then I'll upload uh, probably after, like, I'll probably upload the rest of the stuff today for shift and unshift and the rest of that. And then we'll talk about the time complexity of this and why it's actually better than using an array. So there should be more videos on this coming, so take it easy.